Hey guys, it's your old buddy Roger. I'm just out here looking over Little Red, my truck, making sure she's ready to go for mor tomorrow's excursion. You know what tomorrow is? It's the Sunday before Christmas, and it and Easter are typically the most attended Sundays of the year. Of course, Super Bowl and any Sunday that the uh, main minister doesn't preach is always the lowest Sundays attended. But I digress. I want to take a few minutes to cover how to survive. The CEAs, that's Christmas Easter attendees. A few years ago, when my church bustled, the leadership asked if some of the manly men and healthy folks could park out away from the entrances to aid in the other folks, those with children, older folks, and even those with physical ailments, and allow them to have easier parking and shorter walking opportunities. Fast forward a few years, the church isn't exactly bustling any longer. The minister took advantage of this and got in a closer parking spot, though. However, some of us manly men, diehards, if I may say so, cool people, still park out away from the building. I, at the very least, will continue to do so until the request has been rescinded. I don't hold a monopoly on being cool. Pardon me just a moment here. Kind of hard to do this out here in the cold. I don't have the monopoly on coolness. Other manly cool people include Bob, Sam, Tracy, and Wendy. Though Nathan has tried to park out here with us, we don't consider him cool enough due to his dress, although it isn't far from it. He calls it his kilt, and I might accept it as such, except that uh, I have yet to see another Scottish man wearing a pink lacy kilt. So park somewhere else, Nathan. Where am I going with this is that I'm asking if you are able, and if you could, to park out a little ways and allow our guests, our older folks, and people with young children to park closer to the entrances. Plus, if you don't mind me... Uh, modifying a line for vacation. When service is over, you won't be all bottlenecked up at the traffic near the uh, traffic jam near the exits and get a clean shot down to Four Keys and beat the Baptist down near to the buffet. Once you get outside, you're going to see new and confused faces. Don't be alarmed. These are just the other Christmas Easter regular attendee members that you don't remember from uh, Easter. Take the time to say hi and stop by the Welcome Center if you've had an address change, or to update it, or if you've never even given your address to church before, stop in and do that. We'd really like to stay in touch with you. Here are some of the places I've set or uh, have been in the sanctuary. Now, of course, the north side is where uh, we sat when I was married. And the south side is where I typically sit now. Uh, I sat in the tech booth for quite a while, did some work back there, but that was uh, some time back. And I've even sat in here, though uh, not to introduce myself or carry on conversations. But again, I digress. Go ahead and end the sanctuary. If you've gotten uh, to church 10 minutes or more early, you're likely to still be able to sit in your seat of choice. Perhaps even as much as 5 minutes early. But don't be surprised that there may be someone sitting in your seat no matter when you come in. And if your seat, and I say yours, if your seat does happen to be taken, go with the flow. Here's an example of what you may do. Introduce yourself to the person in the seat or in the family in the row. Indicate that you and or your family thought they would try this area today. That wouldn't be a lie, uh, because uh, technically uh, you was going to sit in that seat they're in, so you're just sitting close to it, so you are trying that area. So it's not really a lie. Don't be surprised if they have been attend or if, if they or them have attended here before. Many a time, if I went around to work the room, welcome people, only to find out that they've attended there nearly as long as I have. If they are new folk, ask them if they've stopped by the Welcome Center. If they hadn't, offer to take them back for their gift and to get more information. Do not, and I repeat, do not move their stuff while they're gone back at the Welcome Center and put your stuff, move your family and your stuff into their spot or your spot. Don't do that. That would be wrong. Try to find out some more information about them and the family. Show some actual interest in them. Invite them back next week. If you can, either get their number or email or stop by the Welcome Center and get it and uh, make contact with them through the week to invite them back again next week. And if, uh, you, if you yourself are not a Christmas attender and come back next week, look for the individual or family again Make contact. Make them feel welcome. Okay, everybody, this is the happy time of the year for many. People are a little more open to the gospel this time of year. Take advantage of it. 
Ask a friend, a neighbor, a family member. Heck, ask the whole dang family to join you in church this Sunday. Or any Sunday for that matter. But to better the kingdom, get out of your comfort zone and offer to go to the church of their choosing if, they, if it's not convenient for them to come down here to your church. Um... Or some other things that might get them out of us. You know, maybe maybe it's not convenient with time that happens to happen. Early church, late church, whatever it is. Maybe uh, they have issues with people wearing kilts. I certainly do. Somebody wants to invite me to their church because there's no kilt wearers. More than happy for that. Uh, before I wrap up, if you're a Christmas attender, or someone less frequent than that, or someone more frequent than that, basically not a regular attender, I want to assure you that any congregation that you choose to worship with We'll be more than happy to have you in their presence. Go in, find a place to seat yourself or your family. There are no assigned seats in God's house. No one should be offended that, uh, or put out that you're sitting in their seat. If they are, let me assure you, the problem or the issue is not with you. It is with them. So I invite you to come worship with me at my church this Sunday. Or go to your ch uh, church of your choosing and we'll worship together at different churches. Um, and either way... Let's come out. Let's adore him. Have a blessed day, everybody. Good night.